Welcome back to RG Geek, your channel for everything RG350M. Today we're going to be looking at the mobile game controller W10, which is a grip for cell phones. For it was originally designed for the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds mobile game, but we're going to be looking at it as a grip for the RG350M, and I'm quite happy with this. I got this yesterday, um, and it's pretty stable inside there. You can imagine. Um, even when you take these off, you can still play very well. It's very stable. Uh, I don't recommend like shaking it when it's turned over like that because it'll fall out. But in general use, normal use, it's fine. You can see what it looks like without the device inside. See, they're really pushing that game there. <laughs> so that's fine. Plastic, metal. And one key note is that on the sides, it's completely open. Because, for example, I got this grip hoping it would work, because I heard this works really well with the RG350. And I can put a link to the in the description to this as well. Um, this even has a stand, which is cool. But, unfortunately, the problem with this is that when you put the device in it, yeah, you just break everything on camera here. The problem with this is that it covers the power button over here. And you can see it just turned on. So, and the, also covers the volume controls over here. So this is worthless as a controller. So I've tried to play this before and just after a while I get into my game and the console understandably just shuts off because you've held the power button down for a few seconds. So I do not recommend this. I hear it's really good for the RG350, also with this kickstand, I love the kickstand, but yeah. It did work with another controller, a console I had, but anyway, that's another thing. Um, so, I'll put this in back in here and show you how it looks in the device, in the grip. So, I find that, and then you can choose, you can either play with these on, on or off. I usually put them down because I think it looks cool. And I'm actually surprised it really looks like it was designed for the RG350M, although it clearly was not. Um, so I love, like I said, the sides are open, so you've got the volume switch over here, easy access, power button, speakers come through fine. I mean, it might be a little muted, but the minimum volume on this thing is too high anyway, so you might even welcome that as an addition. Easy access to your card slots. The biggest problem, of course, is you can't get to your headphone port. So this is more like if you want a grip for just playing at home when you know no one's going to be bothered and you can just play it in the open air, then this grip is great for that. I mean, like, I'm going on a train ride in a few days and I'm like, eh, I can't take the grip along because I obviously can't play on the train and so I want to just play on mute, which is awful. So, nope. And you can't access your other ports either, like the HDMI or charging port and such. So, I mean, that's a downgrade, but I mean, you can access the buttons, so you can play this fine. So as long as you're charged up, it's a fine grip. I think it's funny too, is he's pushed down. I think this had some functionality in the other game. But the nice thing about having these metal um, things coming out is that you can put it down and it's, just, it's flat on the table. Uh, I'll show you the box super fast. It's not very impressive. It actually came quite like beat up when I got it, which surprised me. But I might have also just torn the packaging off too easily. But who cares? The grip itself is fine. So, and just some cheap Chinese packaging. But in case those details matter to you, there they are. So, uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe for more RG350M content. Have a great day. Even with these attachments, it still won't pop out. I can even shake it a little bit. Okay, if you shake it, it's going to come out.